Now I'll admit, uh, I got a different angle here, but I wanted you to see this thing from the top down so you could actually see the whole entire thing unfold. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart piece by piece and I'm going to open this thing up and you're going to get a chance to see what this thing looks like once you open up a plaster mold. So we'll take the first piece here which is the easiest to release which is this outside piece. Now this is not related to the handle. Very slowly remove it. And I'll turn it sideways so you can see. There is the one side. So pulled out pretty cleanly, not too many troubles. And if there is of course a problem, then what you can do is you can just clean it up afterwards. There's a lot of classes where people will actually spend time just cleaning up bisque ware, which is uh, essentially what, well that's actually greenware, although they call it cleaning up bisque, it's actually they're cleaning up greenware in most of the cases to see how it's going to look. So I'm pressing out very carefully. I'm going to slide this out of position. Very carefully, slowly edging it out, and getting my chance to push it away without harming anything, hopefully. I did it right. And here we go. Now we've released the second one. All right, so there you see. Here's the little uh, edge here between the two parts of the mold and that would need to be cleaned up. So now we're going to turn to the side here. Now this piece here that you're going to about to see is, let's see, let's make sure, yep, we're going to see it right there. Um, this is going to be one of the handle pieces. Now you have to be really careful when you get to a handle piece, but if you've done it right and you made your design correctly, should be able to release that just like the others and push it out. Once again, be very careful. Take your time. This one's being a little more finicky than it usually is, but release it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Ah, yes, perfect. And just slide this out very carefully, very slowly. And there we have it. And you can see the handle right there. See, there it is. One solid piece. And it came out really clean. This is turning out really, really well. Now I'm going to have one more piece. And this is the hardest one to do of all. But this piece is plenty dry. So it's at what you would call leather hardness. So it should pull out without too much trouble. And what I'll be able to do after this is over is um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just cut around the base here to make sure that this thing comes out cleanly. Because we did have, uh, we did get put in a little odd, so it acted a little strangely than usual, a little more strangely than usual. And I'll just tip it back because this is actually a five part mold. One of the pieces of the mold is actually the base. And I'm going to see if I can't flex it a little bit. Move it a little bit back and forth. Oh, I did not do a good job with that. But even though I didn't, because it's leather hard, it came out just fine. And everything, I'll turn it around here so you can see it for yourself. There you go. Now what I'll be doing is I will cut the hole right there. And I will cut that whole entire area out and clean this whole entire thing up. But as you can see, this piece here is in pretty good shape. Looks pretty good. And soon enough, it'll go from that pace to being something like this. And then eventually, once it's fired and glazed, it'll look like this, which is pretty cool. So anyway, that is the how you pull out and release a piece of slipcast pottery.